Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about something that many of you have requested me and it's identifying your ideal clients. So here I go. Getting started in the art world and selling your work online on your own can feel a bit overwhelming, especially when you're not working with galleries or other middlemen, which I don't recommend. One of the key things you'll need to do is figure it out who your potential client are so you can target them effectively. Creating a customer profile is a super helpful way to do this and it's not as complicated as you might think. By understanding who's most likely to be interested in your art, you'll be able to focus your marketing efforts and boost your chances of selling your work online. So let's break down the steps to help you develop a customer profile for your business. First thing is to find your audience. Take some time to really think about the kind of people who might be drawn to your art. Think about their age, gender, income level, where they live, what are their interests or hobbies. Because understanding these factors will help you figure it out who is likely to appreciate and buy your work, which is going to allow you to focus your marketing efforts properly, basically. Second thing is to figure out why they buy. So it's important to ask yourself, what might be driving your audience to purchase art? Are they seeking a personal connection with you, the artist? They want a unique statement piece for their home, or perhaps they see your art as an investment. So by getting to know their motivations, you can tailor your marketing and sales efforts to better connect with their needs and desires, making your art more appealing to them. Number three is to research similar artists. Spend some time looking at other artists who create artwork similar to yours and analyze their customer base. Who is buying their art and why? because this can give you valuable insights into your potential clients and help you fine-tune your target audience, making your marketing strategy again more effective. Number four is to gather feedback from customers. If you've already sold a couple of pieces or showcase your work at events, reach out to your existing customers and ask them for feedback, because this can really help you understand what really attracted them to your work in the first place and give you more information about their demographics and preferences, which is super useful when targeting new customers. Number five is to make customer personas or avatars. Now use information you've gathered to make detailed descriptions of your ideal buyers, known as customer personas or avatars. This should include things like their background, interest, age, motivations for buying, where are they based, and shopping habits. Having these personas will help you visualize really your target audience more clearly, making it easier for you to create content that tackles these particular people. And the final one, keep testing and refining your profiles. As you start selling your art online, pay attention to your sales and interactions with customers and use this data to refine your customer profile over time, making little adjustments as needed to ensure that you're always targeting to buy people with your marketing and sales strategies. And remember, creating a customer profile is an ongoing process that will evolve as you gain more experience, sales, and feedback from your buyers. By understanding and continually updating your target audience, what happens is that you'll be able to sell your art online more effectively without relying on, again, galleries and other people to depend on selling your art. And if you want to learn how to customize your content to your ideal clients and create content that really converts your followers into collectors, you're lucky because my course Instagram Artist Accelerator will teach you just that. This is a course worth more than 1,500 pounds, but as I want as many artists to enjoy it as possible, I'm better launching it for 249 pounds. But this price will disappear on Sunday at 8 p.m. So you still have three days to register at this price. Don't miss the opportunity to invest in your practice and learn how to create content that converts, not just random content because this is going to get you to your ideal client, sell, among many other things. If you want to have a peek to the course, go to my description box where I left a link. And if you do have questions about the course or identifying your ideal clients, do let me know in the comments down below. Have a great week.